we're gonna do that one after we're gonna move to the snipers I have a lot of them Alright, so I'm going to start this video with explaining all of the snipers in... <laughs> Sorry, I had to reavoid. This is explaining all the snipers, or the scout class, in Battlefield 1. Now, I have this almost, I have this max rank, technically, um, in order to get all the base weapons for the sniper class, you have to be scout rank 10, and I am almost scout rank 14, which is awesome. And you get a lot of weapons for this, and if you complete the Martini Henry challenge, you get the, the Martini Henry sniper, which is perform 25 kills with bayonet charge, which I have completed, and perform 300 kills with the Martini Henry, which I am currently working on. I am trying to get the Martini Henry sniper. So I have all the base weapons unlocked, which I do not have any of the DLC, sadly, so... Oh well. These weapons come free, too, because these were community weapons. The Type 3 Risk of Patrol, Carcano... I hope I'm saying these right. Carcano M91 Patrol Carbine, Ross MK3 Infantry, and the M1... Or the M1917 Enfield Silenced, which is one of my personal favorite sniper rifles. Let's start off with the Russian 1995 Trench. So, random de redeploy. This weapon is a really good base weapon. It compensates zoom and fire rate to give your buddies like a more suppressive fire in the sniper class so let's say there's somebody coming around the corner blah 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 this is more of a close range sniper weapon that's high damage for a close range fight and less drop off at close range Also has a lot faster fire rate than the next version we're gonna see, which is probably the sniper. Other than that, it's a really good weapon. It's a really good snap snapshot weapon. So like dow, 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 dow. We're gonna redeploy real quick. Now it's older buddy, the Russian 1895 sniper. This is a different story. This is your long range weapon. Always remember in Battlefield, when you're aiming down sight, most weapons you'll fire but it won't cock back. It's because you have to aim out of the sight to cock it back, then aim back in, fire. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. If you know how to manage your distancing, you can manage some really good quick scopes. Not gonna lie. I've only been able to do it once, so I just hard scope because I'm a nerd. Anyway. Hit fire isn't bad. It's manageable, but it could be a lot better. Now the next version of the trench is the infantry. The infantry has a lot 
slower of a fire rate. That's the same five round clip, which is alright. This is me clipping as fast as I can. <laughs> This thing's a lot slower, but it has the max damage of a sniper. So it's like taking that Russian 1895 sniper and putting iron sights on it. And there you go. You got the exact same thing. And it's very, very powerful, but a lot slower of a fire rate. If I were you, I would pick the sniper out of all three of these because the sniper is a lot more manageable in terms of recoil and hit fire spread. But if you're running and gunning with a sniper class, this is definitely the weapon for you. Oh, the good old Gravir 98. I would say that all the marksman weapons are most popular in the sniping community for Battlefield 1. And that's because of their four times sight that they come with. And, you know, the Grenier 95 is a really fast fire rate weapon. It's a bolt action, which is fun. Everybody loves a bolt action. Hit fire on this weapon is not bad. It's better than the trench. And the Russian 1895 sniper put together. As you can see what I have fired, it actually aims where I want it to. Aiming down sight, it does the same thing. You cannot cock it back. In scope, you have to go out of the scope to do it and then re-aim to do it again. Rinse and repeat. And yes, quick scoping is very possible with this weapon. Overall, this weapon is not bad. This weapon has a decent range too. From about here to here, you can get a headshot very easily. And in case you didn't know, when you're aiming down sight with a sniper rifle and you have to cock back, aim by aiming it, by aiming out. Here's a little tip. So when you're aiming on sight and you keep forgetting to do to aim out and aim in again, just click the fire button again to click out. I'll let you guys hear it. So four, three, two. What if you want to reload here? There are some different reloads that allow for single bullet reloads. Most weapons don't have this, but one of the very few weapons that has it is the Gravir 98. Oh, the Gravir 98 sniper is the exact same thing as the Gravir 98 marksman, except for it has a sniper scope on it, has the exact same stats. Gavir 98 infantry, so pretty much all the Gavir 98s are the exact same with different zoom levels. With the marksman, you get a three times to four times. With the sniper, you get a five times to ten times. And always remember, when you have a five times or more sniper, you have sniper glare, which also attracts enemy snipers and other people in the battlefield such as tanks and all such. I have died due to tanks and enemy snipers because of my glare. That's why I always love using the marksman versions because the marksman versions have a four times and under and they don't attract attention because they don't give off a sniper glare. And that's always useful in the battlefield but you don't get as much zoom especially when long range fights happen. So I always calculate their distance before using these. 
All right. Now to the assembly. MK3 Marksman. One of the best starter snipers you could ever use. This weapon is your standard 10 mag sniper rifle. It's like a battle rifle. Decent fire rate. Decent mag size. Everyone's favorite bolt action. It's just your favorite sniper. All put into one. Fast reload. Quick scoping is possible with this weapon. Very possible, actually. I can actually do it a lot faster than all the other ones. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alrighty. Hit fire on this weapon. Decent. It can use some work, but it's decent. This weapon has the same compatibility of every one of them. Redeploy. They're all, these weapons are all the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the... I, yeah, we're going to go to the Carbine. Let's do the Carbine. Carbine's a little bit shorter version. It's a lot shorter, actually. It's the optical. And in the Carbine version, you can actually talk it back pulling me on sight, which is very useful, especially when you have the same damage output as the sniper version in a little compact design. Hit fire, decent, just like the sniper. Fire rate, I mean it could use some work, but it's decent for what the weapon actually is. Quick scoping is possible with this weapon. But why do you need to quick scope with this weapon when you can just aim down sight and keep firing? Seriously. Okay. So, we're gonna look at the next one the infantry version. Infantry can be cocked back each time while you're aiming down sight. The snipers are the only ones that don't have this. So if you're looking for your standard infantry close range weapon that you just need to challenge people with because you're not wanting to snipe but you need to level this class up because you want to and unlock a really powerful weapon called the Martini Henry which we're gonna get to very soon. And maybe this class right here is for you. Again, quick scoping is possible with this weapon. But why would you do that when you can just aim down sight and keep firing? This weapon also has decent range. Aim over here, into this, hit exactly where I want to. Also, the ML, SLMA, SMLE MK3 Marksman also has the redeploy and reload technique, which is use fire, aim on sight, but it also has the fire, 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 fire. fire. Which is always useful in combat because sometimes you do forget to aim out of the scope to cock it back and then go back in. But this weapon also has single bullet reload. Which always comes in handy. Moving on to the Gavir M95 Marksman, the fastest firing sniper in the game. This weapon has a five round clip, not bad for a sniper, about standard, but has the fastest fire rate 
of all the snipers. It's also a bolt action, but it's also a carbine. So it's very fast. It's also one of the very few snipers you can actually aim down sight with and cock back, which comes really handy for tracking track sniping. Which I think is really useful. The sniper is a very good starter weapon for beginners. And professionals use it all the time. So it's a good all-around weapon for every category of skill. Quick scoping is very possible for this weapon. Range is not bad. You can hit whatever you want with whatever you want. Overall, great weapon. Carbine version has a little bit better of a hit fire. Nothing special about it though. Still can aim down sight, still can fireball aim in down sight. Nothing special. Hit fire spreads a little bit better for it, because it's in a tinier version of it, therefore hit fire recoil is better controllable. Yes, single bullet reload is for this weapon. If I remember it. Nope. This weapon does not have single bullet reload. It reloads by the mag. Like I said, most weapons don't have single bullet reload. Just checking if that one did. I don't think it did. So. Anyway, moving on to the, so the infantry is the exact same thing. It just has a worse fire have fire spread than that one. The good old M1903. This weapon is the most popular sniper in the game. It has the longest range of any sniper, longest bullet drop off of any sniper. Also one of the fastest fire rates of any sniper in the game. But not the fastest, because we just we just went over the fastest. But if you want your standard quick scope weapon, this is a really good quick scope weapon. <laughs> Hence, in Battlefield, you might not be quick scoping a lot, but more skilled players tend to be going towards this weapon. I myself, too. I have a decent amount of kills with this weapon. But overall, the mag size is alright. Five, not bad. You can equip bayonets to every sniper. And, not to mention, this sniper is very, very powerful. One shot, one kill, almost all the way up the body, and in the leg. Does a standard damage of 100 in the upper chest, and does a standard damage of 97 in the leg, which is almost a permanent kill. The sniper is the exact same thing as the M1903. Also has that feature where you have to aim on sight, fire, and then cock it back by aiming down set or a, not ADSing and then aiming down set again to fire. Just to double check, I'm going to check this because I don't know if I'm right. I think I am though. So he uses gun so many times. Yep, I was right. I think this weapon has single bullet reload, if I remember right. Yep. Single bullet reload is included with the M1903. If you want a faster fire, if you want a faster reload, go to the very end of the clip and just reload the full mag at once. Pretty self-explanatory. The next version of the 1903 is a very, very confusing weapon. And 1903 experimental. If you want a weapon to run into combat with, with a very, very decent amount of... What are you doing in my lobby? 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 Okay, anyway. M1903 <laughs> Experimental is a pistol round inside of a carbine. As I can use this little target as my little buddy. Fast reload. Includes all of it. Also, it can be put... What did I grab that? 
it can be put into a bolt with a higher powerful round which instantly kills people by the way single bullet reload included and the only problem is you cannot cock it back while aiming now it's like just like your standard sniper has the power of a sniper but it's all right for a weapon you know and if you ever want to put it back just flip up your little the d-pad there you go boom back to this back to the sniper mode or back to the pistol mode i should say with a massive massive mag your massive 40 round mag Anyway, redeploy. Because why not? Okay. Mm One of my. Back to the Martini Henry. This is a very, very powerful weapon. Martini Henry is one of my favorite weapons, personally. It's only a single shot tank weapon. You have to reload every bullet, but it has extreme damage. If I can hit this dude. And like I said, it's a one shot, one kill. It's pretty powerful. Although you have to reload every bullet, and it's, it's kind of sad. Anyway. Redeploy. That is it for the sniper base category. Down to one of the free earned weapons, the Type 38 Risk of Patrol. It's a very good quick scoping weapon in the sniper category, anyway. It does not have the proper sniper zoom level of a 10 times. It does go up to 5 times, though. If I hit this dude. My sniping's not on point today. <laughs> yeah, I can see this. Your standard five round magazine. Hit fire isn't bad. And yes, single bullet reload is included with this weapon. Quick scoping is possible with this weapon. It's your standard Ariska patrol weapon. Decent damage, two shot kill normally. Headshot, instant kill. Carcano M91 Patrol Carbine is not a bad weapon. It has its ups and its downs. Range is horrible with this weapon, as you can see. Has a small zoom, decent damage, two shot kill. Magazine, your standard six round mag. It's not bad, not a bad weapon at all. Hit fire spread's not bad. See if I can hit this guy again. And it has a unique reload for the magazine. You do not single reload it. You take the magazine out and then put a new magazine in. It, it's simple, yet effective. I really don't like this weapon. <laughs> Honestly, though, I really don't like the weapon. I've only used it once in combat, and I didn't do very well with it. The Ross MK3 Infantry, my actually second less used weapon, because obviously it's an infantry weapon. Standard five round mag, not bad. I shot him. 
not trying to 1v1 this guy. <laughs> trying to explain all these weapons. Stop killing me. It has single bullet reload, which is useful. Hit fire isn't bad with this weapon. Could use some work. Range is decent. And yes, it has the mechanism of being able to fire while you on sight. Just not one of my favorite infantry weapons, personally. Readable. And now to my favorite sniper rifle in the game. The M1917 Enfield Silenced. This weapon is very powerful and very accurate. I didn't realize the guy was there, and oh well. If I could reuse this weapon, that'd be great. It's a two shot kill, normally. But it's a decent, decent weapon. Hit fire spread. It's decent. It's actually great for a sniper rifle. Your standard five, six round mag. And yes, it does have single bullet reload. One, two, boom. Not a bad weapon, especially for a sniper rifle. I don't know why this guy wants to one view on me. <laughs> oh, my scope was right on him too. Anyway, that's pretty much it for snipers. I mean, all of them are kind of self-explanatory. But if you want a tip on how to reload faster, use K bullets. And the reason is behind K bullets make your reload faster by using a simple trick. So you fire, fire. Uh, this guy wants to kill me again. Okay. All right. Anyway. So you have three bullets in the magazine. One, two, three. Press left. Or not left. Right, sorry. Right, 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 right. To reload the entire magazine all at once instead of doing the single bullet reload. Which always comes in handy. Okay, bullet, reload. If you do it fast enough, you will really reload the entire magazine instead of reloading a single bullet. It may glitch like that and just cock it back. It'll work great. There you go. Back to firing. Anyway, thanks for listening to me for like, what, 30 minutes? <laughs> Explain snipers. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I don't know what else to do, so I'm probably just going to end the video here. But thank you for listening and enjoy your sniping skills. Anyway, mm, I'm going to go 1v1 this guy because he wants to. And 